governor Gavin Newsom faces another attempt to get him out of office today. The governor was formally notified of a new recall effort against him. This is the second time the governor is facing the threat in three years. KCR 3 Capital correspondent Ashley Zavala explains why organizers say this time is different. Ty and Andrea, a conservative group called Rescue California launched the effort today. Organizers blame Governor Gavin Newsom's handling of the state's budget, public safety and education for this latest attempt. They say his presidential ambition is distracting him from dealing with a variety of issues plaguing the state. Now in his 2021 recall, Rescue California was not the lead proponent, but helped raise funds and gather signatures for that effort. That recall was for different reasons, stemming from the governor's COVID related shutdown of businesses and schools and outrage over his dining at the French Laundry in Napa after telling Californians to stay home. But Governor Newsom handily beat that recall and also went on to win re-election the following year in 2022. Now, Rescue California is leading this renewed effort. They'll need to gather 12% of the amount of votes Governor Newsom received in the last election, which amounts to about 1.4 million signatures. Now, in order to get the recall on the November ballot, they'll need to move much faster than last time, requiring those signatures to be in by May. The governor posted on X in response today saying, quote, Trump Republicans are launching another wasteful recall campaign to distract us from the existential fight for democracy and reproductive freedom. We will defeat them. And Newsom's campaign spokesman Nathan Click said, quote, we are taking it seriously. These Trump Republicans are targeting Governor Newsom because he is out there defending democracy and fighting for the reelection of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. He's not going to be distracted from that fight. But organizers of the recall say the group is not just made up of Trump Republicans. No, Governor, California is coming after you, and it's going to make the last recall effort look like sandbox. I don't see that we have made any, uh, he's created any successes, and he's only increasing our failures. So if not now, when? We really want to sit through three more years with his, three more budgets with him. He's shown that he's capable of getting good things done in short order. Maybe he needs to come and have that be his legacy here before he takes on another job. Now, hours after the recall was made public, Governor Gavin Newsom began fundraising off of it this afternoon. Democrats across the state, including the lieutenant governor, attorney general, assembly speaker, and Senate pro tem have all come out swinging against this effort, saying that it would be a waste of time and money for taxpayers. And Ashley, there's also a proposed state law that is coincidentally moving through the legislature right now, and this could have a huge impact on future recalls for any California governor. What's the latest on that? Right, and even potentially this possible recall. Now, right now in the state, state law, as we saw in 2021, when a recall effort qualifies for the ballot, candidates can jump in and put their name in the ring for governor. Now, if voters decide to recall a governor, then whichever candidate gets a plurality of the vote becomes governor. This new proposal called Senate Constitutional Amendment 7 would change that by having the lieutenant governor serve the rest of the recalled governor's term. That proposal is halfway through the legislative process and if approved would also go to voters in November. Now, hmm. if this recall effort against Governor Newsom happens to land on the ballot in November, then that law would not apply. But if it takes this group longer to gather signatures and the recall still qualifies after November, then there's a chance that proposal would apply. All of this is piling onto an already wow. a very busy election year, and the November ballot is already going to be packed. Right. So this is just, this will be a huge undertaking, and some are already calling it a long shot effort. Yeah, and it makes for a busy time for, for you and all the folks working on, uh, you know, <laughs> I know we were talking <laughs> just, about this. Just yeah. another thing just to Just another add thing to, to add to the plate, but yeah. hey, it's election season in California, yeah. and this is what you get. It's a wild ride. Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. much for the voters to consider. Yeah. Ashley, yeah. thank Ashley, you. Thank